Hey, welcome back everybody. Welcome back to a new episode from Ask Ash. My name is Ash and this is kind of awkward. I haven't made one of these coffee videos for such a long time and I'm a, I'm a real coffee enthusiast. I love making coffee. Um, but I only just recently upgraded my coffee machine. I don't know if you guys watched my previous video. I think it was two years ago. We'll have to check uh, the link again. But yeah, I made a video about two years ago uh, about the coffee Brentwood machine. I used to use the coffee, uh, the Brentwood cappuccino and espresso maker. That was my coffee machine for quite some time. But just like life goes, the machine goes, right? Everything comes and goes. Everything has a certain lifespan. So he died. We had a funeral. We buried him. I hope he's in heaven. He did me good. So I had to upgrade. So during my upgrading, I bought myself this bad boy. I bought myself the Geek Chef 20 bar espresso and cappuccino maker. Yeah. 20 bars, brews, one to two coffee, commercial style, dry, warm uh, steam, faster heating system. So yeah, that's what I've been using for the last two or three months, but I decided to wait this time before I actually started making a video so that I can give as an honest as much as, much as honest possible uh, review feedback that I could give. Uh, I watched on YouTube but there's not many Geek Chef review videos to be found. I did however see the brand name Lassie. I think that's a look-alike of the Geek Chef. I'm pretty certain that it's just the same machine but with a different branding but i haven't had my hands on one of those uh, lassie systems yet so yeah i hope i can get that done so uh, making the coffee is pretty straightforward uh, no let's just do the box contents first you got a porta filter you got a porta filter just like just like the other machines do yeah so you got the porta filter just like a regular machine but this one has the double drip you can make two cups at the same time you have the single cup holder for the coffee and the double i usually just drink two one is never enough for me so i usually just make two cups at once you just fit it in squeeze it in and that's your porta filter you got the scoop, one side, one side you have the scoop, the other side you have the tamp. That's just to tamp the coffee. And that's, that's a crucial part. Most people, most, people under, under, most people underestimate that part, but it's a really crucial part that you do uh, tamp your coffee the right way. Okay, these are the cheaper uh, coffee machines. So I hope nobody goes into the comment, yeah, but uh, my barista has, a, has a, a special equipment that screws onto the uh, porta filter. No, we just, I just tamp it. I don't have, not yet at least, I hope to have those cool espresso machines. Okay, uh, back to the machine. This is coffee that I uh, grounded myself. I use, I uh, usually use this one. I don't know if you guys know this brand. I use the Dawa Akbar delicious but these are the whole beans and then i just uh, ground them myself i i have a whole video about that how i grind uh, my own coffee so if you guys want to watch that that's also in the description so back to this you fill it up you don't have to fill it all to the neck as you can see i filled it up decently and be sure to just tamp it evenly. So don't let it sit square in it, otherwise it won't be frothing, otherwise it won't be steaming from both sides equally. So be sure to tamp it equally. All right, then you get this. Okay, so on the back side, you have the water tank. This one is a 1.5 liter water tank. So you just press it in, click it down, and that's the water tank. On the side here, you have the on button. You switch it on. Once it's on, you'll see that the lights are blinking. 
Uh, now this system has a faster heating system as they had mentioned on the box. So it takes around 30 seconds before it's hot. You'll see that the lights are blinking and then it'll jump back to once you see that the blinking stops, then you know that you're ready to make a coffee. In the meantime that it's warming up, let's uh, put in our port portafilter. Uh, when you choose a glass, make sure that it's wide enough because you have uh, a double drip portafilter, which means that it will be dripping from both angles. Once there, and once there. And once you're ready to make your coffee, this is your switch. The right side is for frothing and obviously the cup is for your coffee. Slide it over to the coffee. Now if you would have used this, just the single cup, if you would have used the single cup, then you would have obviously choose uh, option one cup. And this one has two stripes on it, so you just go for two. I drink two and it'll start brewing. So then you get the blinking lights again. It's starting to preheat the system automatically. That was the water that it used to make the two cups. Now it's preheating. So now we have to go and froth our milk. You see how fast it preheated? So now you could, if, if you've changed the beans right now, the, your coffee, uh, your coffee roast, and you could automatically press, you could press this and then you start making a whole new batch. Just release this, remove, uh, but do be careful because the beans are really hot and then just put in your new uh, new batch. You can leave it in if you want to let the rest drip or otherwise you can just remove this and the rest will drip through and be sure to clean that out. You don't want the old filthy coffee sitting there. So now let's go over to our frothing process. Okay, so for me what's important during the frothing process is the way you hold the milk. But before you switch over to that, put it back in the middle. Uh, okay, before we froth, let me explain two things. You can use the frother for two things. You can use it either if you switch it over directly to the right side, then you see that the first light is on. If you leave it at that, let me show what happens. If you press that now, it'll start steaming hot water. That's if you want to make uh, that's if you want to make a hot tea or something like that. It automatically starts streaming steaming hot water. So you can just press stop whenever you you have enough of water. Then you have hot water. It's removing the excess heat water. Okay. I didn't switch it over in the middle. That's why it was still steaming. Okay, that's that's the first option for it. And then the second one is you press the frother first. So leave this in the middle, press the frother first. It'll start to blink, it's preheating. Now you can switch this over to the right. So uh, a, a little heads up how you can find out whenever it's ready to get your milk uh, is when the blinking stops. It'll give you like a half a second notice. It'll stop blinking. And that means uh, grab your milk and start frothing. You see how that stopped? And then now you can froth. Be sure to hold your, your uh, whatever you use, your carafe or glass or mug, whatever you use. Hold it a bit, tilt it a little so that the milk starts frothing in a circular motion. So that you get the creaminess of the milk. Otherwise you'll get all this bubble, all this frothing, but you, the milk won't be creamy. So as you can see, it starts getting thicker. And depending on how thick you want that, 
you can keep it in it. And once you're finished, you can just switch the knob back into the middle and then it just stops frothing. And then you have your frothed milk. <clears throat> so there's one more thing that I prefer to do, uh, depending on how much sugar you want. I add the sugar directly to my coffee instead of the milk during the frothing process or at the end, because if you're, if you're if you like to make figures on your cappuccino, then that will be spoiled if you still have to stir the whole coffee. So I add the sugar in the coffee itself. And now for the best part of the whole game. So I'm not great at drawing, but as you can see, that looks like an okay finger. That looks like something like that, don't you think? Uh, it looks like a gun signal. I don't even know what it is, but I'm still trying to learn the whole process. But yeah. And uh, one, one thing you can add to it to make your coffee a bit better is uh, cinnamon. So if you have cinnamon and you like the taste of it, you can always just add a little from the top. And don't forget to switch it off. So I hope you guys like this video. I'm gonna drink my coffee that I just made. Um, I'm trying to make a bunch of more videos. I'm trying to be more in front of the camera. So you guys let me know how I'm hosting these uh, YouTube tutorials, do it yourselves. Yeah, the name says it, Ask Ash. I'm trying to film all kinds of uh, daily activities, but I also do unboxing, we also do repairs. So it's kind of an all around channel, but I love coffee, so I love uh, including my coffee videos into it. I hope I can get more of these machines, but yeah, this one's around $150. Uh, that could be quite expensive, but then again, you have like high-end equipment that reaches all the way to $2,000, $3,000. But that's if you run the barista, that's not for me. For homemade use, I think this is good enough. I hope to upgrade it, but yeah, I see I'm spinning off top topic. So I hope you guys subscribe. I hope you guys like the videos. Uh, you can like it, you can subscribe. The subscribing is really important. I'm trying to <clears throat> upgrade my channel. So I need you guys for that. So do subscribe. And in the meantime, I'm gonna drink my coffee. Love, peace, bye.